Crafton have released an updated system requirements and optimal settings for Enzoi. In these system requirements, they have separated everything into four different tiers and provided the optimal game settings for each tier. As you can see here, it says for minimum requirements, you need a Windows 11 or Windows 10 64-bit computer, Intel i5 10400 processor or AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor. You need at least 12 gigs of memory an NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics card, or an AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT graphics card, version 12 DirectX, that's for all the way across the board, internet connection, and 40 gigs of storage. Now for the medium PC specs, they recommend that you have an Intel i7-11700 or an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, 16 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card or an AMD Radeon RX 6600 graphics card, and 50 gigs of hard drive storage. Their recommended hardware requirements is an Intel i7-12700K processor or an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D with 16 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card or an AMD Radeon RX 6800XT graphics and 60 gigs of hard drive space. And for the high quality hardware requirements, they recommend an, an Intel i7 14700K processor or an AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D processor with 32 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 4080 graphics card or an AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card, both of which are quite beefy. And 75 gigs of storage space is what they're recommending. They go on to say in their blog post about optimal settings. Once you get the game, you'll be able to find the optimal settings by going into game options and graphics. They have different presets for very low, low, medium, high, and ultra high, as well as custom presets. They say that optimal settings will ensure that you experience the game on your current PC in the best possible way. So you might be asking which factors affect optimal settings. So basically, higher resolutions will put more load on your GPU because the higher resolution you have, the more rendering that is required due to the higher number of pixels. For reference, if you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, then that has to render over 2 million pixels. And if you want to render in 4K, you're talking over 8.2 million pixels that need to be rendered. When you go into Enzoi, Upon release on the 28th of March, you will need to keep this in mind. So if you have a 4K monitor and your computer's not fantastic or not all that great, it might struggle to render the game in 4K. Also, if you have the game saved to a SSD or an HDD, that can also affect how the game is rendered and how fast the game is, how much it lags and so on. I would suggest that you download the game to an SSD just to help ensure that the game runs as smoothly as possible. So SSDs provide faster data transfer speeds, which will lead to reduced loading times for maps and resources during gameplay. It also helps improve texture streaming that helps reduce texture pop-ins and maintain high quality graphics. You'll get fewer frame drops on an SSD than an HDD. You also get faster installation and update times. For those of us who are not very well technically minded, Crafton have given us some different preset options tailored to fit for system tiers and various gameplay preferences. Minimum, medium, recommended, and high, better graphics or better performance choices. For at minimum, if you want better graphics, you want an NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution enabled or the AMD SR3 slash XESS performance enabled, ray tracing on, and preset low. For better performance, you want the same thing except 
for ray tracing, you want off and preset very low. If you want the medium preset option, then you need to enable the NVIDIA DLSS super resolution, have ray tracing on and put the preset to medium. If you want better performance on the medium quality, then you need ray tracing off and preset low. For the recommended, for better graphics, you want the NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution on or your AMD FSR3 slash XESS set to balance. You want ray tracing on and the preset to be high. If you want better performance on the recommended preset, then you want the NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution set to performance, your ray tracing set to off, and your preset set to medium. And the high system tier for better graphics, you want the NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution to be set to quality, the ray tracing to be set to on, and the preset to be set to ultra high. For better performance, you want the graphics to be set to balanced, ray tracing off, and preset high. Crafton have also given us over on YouTube a video that shows the differences between each of the different settings that they've got. And to be honest, just looking at the video, to me anyway, the minimum specs seem quite blurry. And the only difference between medium recommended and high that I can tell on my monitors is that everything seems a little bit more brighter and the shadows seem a bit more realistic and, and that's it really. So if you want my advice, I would set it to either medium or recommended and only use the high or ultra high settings if you have a super beefy computer and you want to show off. <laughs> Moving on to the latest Enzoi announcement, they have announced that the Enzoi Creative Studio is scheduled to open on the 20th of March. In Creative Studio, you're going to be able to experience Zoi customization and construction. They said that the Creative Studio can only be downloaded and played on Steam, and you can receive a key to ex access Enzoi Creative Studio through the Drops Reward over on Twitch. Starting March 20th, approved Crafton streamers will be free to broadcast their early Enzoi gameplay and viewers will be able to watch the broadcast with the relevant categories set and acquire keys through drops. Drops can be obtained between the 20th and the 22nd of March, but it might end early if their supply of keys run out. So if you want to get that key to the Enzoi Creative Studio, you'll want to watch someone stream as soon as you can on the 20th. They say that the streaming platforms offer offering drop rewards are Twitch, Chizik, Steam, and SOOP. I would assume that most people watching this video are going to be watching Twitch streams. For Twitch streams, what you want to do is link your crafting ID with your streaming platform ID, in this case Twitch, add Enzoi to your Steam wishlist, watch a broadcast with the Enzoi category set for 15 minutes minimum, and then you will get the Enzoi Creative Studio key. You can link your Twitch account and craft an ID from an event page that will be announced separately on the 20th of March. Over on Steam, if you want to get a drop, you'll be able to go from the Enzoi store page and watch an Enzoi stream for over 30 minutes, and then you'll be able to acquire the key that way. Over on Soup or SOOP, they're going to have a separate announcement for more details on how to obtain the key. So what do you think of all of this? Are you looking forward to the early access release of Enzoi on the 28th? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.